and snow seems so magical. But what is snow? Let's find out. Snow is one of the solid types of precipitation. It is not rain, but it is formed when water vapour freezes into ice crystals. The tiny crystals stick together to become snowflakes. When these groups of ice crystals are heavy enough, they fall to the ground as white flakes, or snow. Snow falls to the ground when air temperatures are around freezing, between 0 and 2 degrees Celsius. If it is warmer than this, other types of precipitation, such as sleet or rain, will fall instead of snow. Light and fluffy snow consists of small snowflakes and is known as dry snow or powder. This is formed when air temperatures are colder and there is less moisture in the air. Dry snow is ideal for winter snow sports, but is more likely to drift in the wind. If it is slightly warmer, the snow melts a little and sticks together to create larger snowflakes. This is known as wet snow and is good for building snowmen. Did you know that snow looks white but is actually translucent? This means that light can only pass through the ice crystals indirectly. The many sides of the ice crystals cause diffuse reflection, meaning the light is reflected at many different angles. As this happens to the whole light spectrum, snow appears white. The size and shape of each snowflake depends on how many ice crystals are joined together and is also determined by air temperatures. All snowflakes are thought to be unique, but all have six sides because the ice crystals join together in a hexagonal structure. Heavy snowfall is often called a snowstorm, but snowstorms that are accompanied by high winds are called blizzards. Snow can occur in many places around the world, but some places such as Sydney, Australia, rarely experience snow due to dry or warm weather conditions. Other places such as Quebec, Canada, experience more snow due to colder temperatures and more moisture in the air. However, in December 2016, a very unusual event occurred when it snowed in the Sahara Desert in North Africa. Although both cold temperatures and moisture in the air are extremely rare in this region of the world, on this day weather conditions unusually combined to enable it to snow. It only lasted one day before melting away. Around 12% of the Earth's surface is covered in permanent ice or snow. Most of this is found in the polar regions of the Arctic and Antarctic. Many people use snow for winter sports and recreational activities such as skiing, snowboarding, building snowmen and having snowball fights. While many animals have adapted to live in snowy regions of the world, most of the animals that live in the polar regions of the world have thick fur and an extra layer of fat under their skin to help insulate them from the cold. Some animals such as polar bears build shelters in the snow to keep themselves and their young warm. What did you learn about snow? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos for kids.